the words fail at a time like this. They, they seem so futile and so inadequate. But Scott said it very well, the, the beast who massacred these innocent people was not acting on behalf of any political cause. He, he beat his wife. He massacred 50 innocent people, maybe more. If there is a God or there is an Allah, he will never find out because he's going to be doomed to eternal damnation for what he did to humanity, what he did to all of you in the LGBTQ community, and what he did to all of us as Americans who live together, who share our lives together. On behalf of Minnesota, our deepest condolences. And uh, love will triumph over hate, but it doesn't every time. And there's no way to get around it. That was hate. That was hate acting. And... Uh, we got to kick it out of this country. Thank you. For all of you that are afraid tonight, for all of you that are reeling from this disaster this morning and the tragedy of what unfolded in Florida, it is important that we stand together. I think all of us here are at a loss for the right words, and that's been said. But there are no words that could be as powerful as the sight that I see of all of us standing here together in solidarity, in unity, straight and gay, Muslim and Christian, old and young, all of us saying we will stand up against hatred and violence. I greet you all with the greeting that 1.6 billion people greet with every single day, a greeting of peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace and blessings be upon you all today and recognize the LGBTQ community has stood side by side with the American Muslim community. Brings all of us out, the horrific uh, goings on in uh, Orlando, Florida at two o'clock this morning. Just, it shouldn't happen anywhere, not in this country or in any country. Are you concerned about something like this happening at Pride? No, I don't. It is in, it's on my That's mind, right. but I think we have <laughs> an extremely good police force in Minneapolis, and I think we will be okay. Big smile. What are you here for tonight? Um, I'm here for to show love and support and solidarity with all the victims of the shooting and their families in Orlando. Um, I'm a member of uh, Outfront. I'm the anti-violence program director there, so I'm also here to provide support to folks who might need a crisis counselor or some de-escalation. Yeah. Well, we have an unusual looking person here. Hi there. Yeah, hi there. What brings you here? We have a number of unusual looking yeah. people here. Are you an organized a group? That's right, yeah. We're part of uh, the Ladies of the Lakes, which is a mission house of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. Okay. Uh, what we do is we uh, go out into the community, we raise money, and then we give that money away again. Uh, Tonight we joined other people uh, in our community, not just the queer community, but our Minneapolis community. Uh, uh, there's just a lot of lost people here right now, and didn't know what else to do. So Where's your mother house? We're here. The mother house? Yeah, we originally started in San Francisco. Okay. Uh, and now there's chapters, abbeys, convents all over the United States of America. So our local one here in Minneapolis is the Ladies of the Lake. <laughs> Well, we're from Minneapolis. Okay. We're from South Minneapolis. Okay. And what brings you out here tonight? Well, um, just the need to be with other people when we're trying to make sense of what happened this mm -hmm. morning or last night. What's it going to take to stop it? I guess what it's <laughs> going to take is for us to realize that, you know, this kind of violence is... Um, as long as anybody's at risk of being targeted for it, all of us are at risk. Mm -hmm. And we all need to show up whenever it happens. Fiercely clear that I'm coming to Pride and I'm not worrying nice. about it. <laughs> We're having a vigil tonight and really just wanting to bring people together uh, after this heartbreaking tragedy that happened in Orlando. And we really want to bring people together because we know it, how horrible okay. that is to feel isolated I mean, and be mourning by yourself. And we can come together and do what we do best, which is, you know, stand up for love, stand up for uh, a Minnesota that we believe in and one that really affirms all people, and and also speak out against any kind of discrimination or violence. What can we do to prevent something like that happening here? Right now? I think we've got to spread love. We 
you have to, you know, I think about it from out front Minnesota's perspective is, you know, we want we want our state to be a place where you can be who you are, love who you love, and not face any kind of violence, harassment, or isolation, or discrimination. We can't keep just condemning this kind of violence without doing something to stop you know, the amount of people who have so many guns. Yeah. What's going to take to stop gun violence? The, the government to act and do something in, in what, Congress. What should they do? Well, we're still living without um, the reauthorization of the original Brady Bill, if I recall. They let it, they let it lapse, so they're, they're blindly not doing anything with anything. What about homophobia? What's going to take to, to uh, fix homophobia? Is it better? I, I, I think it's a I think it's a personal story by personal story encountering people who we disagree with um, and tell them show them who we are. I think it's getting I think it's getting better, but it's still an issue. It's going to take one-on-one -on -one engagement as well as good media strategy as well as um, people on the hill lobbying. At night in Minneapolis and I just needed to come and be with the community. Quite a turn off. Yeah, yes, and I think it'll continue to grow. Yeah. He is a part of where people come from. It is. I'm just terribly sad. I'm just terribly sad. The last time I was here for a candlelight vigil was for Jacob Wetterling. And this, I don't know. It's, this feels kind of like my personal 9-11, you know? I, I'm just confused. And, and What's it going to take to fix it? It's, it's going to have to be the guns. It's going to have to be the guns. And if they can't fix the guns, then let's control the bullets. Because you can't... Without the bullets, you know, it's, it's got to stop. And, I mean, look at Australia. They had one shooting and they changed their laws just like that. And here we are. And tomorrow, we must act. Please join Moms Demand Action and keep all of our communities safe from gun violence.